It's really great to be uh, talking to you as part of this presentation. Uh, we're really excited at CQ University about becoming Queensland's first dual sector university. It's interesting to note that this initiative really has come from the community rather than from the university. It really all started uh, in Mackay when there were some funds made available uh, to build a new trades training centre. The community really demanded that the state government built that on the university campus rather than as a standalone facility remote from the university. I think the university could see that for that city, uh, really all forms of post-school education really needed to come together to make the community really uh, go economically. So we made the land available. Uh, we were very pleased that the state gov government decided to locate that facility there. But then that really got us thinking that we could do so much more than just co-locate if we became one institution uh, with an amalgamation between the TAFE and the university. And we wouldn't just meet all the uh, post-school needs in Mackay, but right across our region in Emerald, in Rockhampton and Gladstone. It seems to me that this is a, a region that is just absolutely ripe for a dual sector approach. So we've been working, as I'm sure Nick has told you, for the last uh, three years on uh, this project. And I think we are very, very close uh, to signing off and really making this a reality. Now, as I said, I think this will be fantastic in terms of meeting uh, the educational needs of our region. We're definitely not looking at this as just being about linear progression, where we have students going to the TAFE and then progressing to the university. I think that's a very old-fashioned model. Of course, there will be some of that kind of activity, but we're really excited, and I think business is excited about a parallel uh, approach, where some of our students doing university degrees can pick, pick up competence packages, maybe our engineers doing welding qualifications. Uh, we could also have people doing apprentices, picking up some uh, university subjects as they go through people graduating with degrees and then going into the TAFE. We're looking forward to our facilities being shared between vocational students and our higher education students. Our engineering laboratories made available uh, to those perhaps doing diesel fitting qualifications. We're looking forward to making the refrigeration facilities available in the vet part of the university available to our engineers. And that there's gonna be lots of uh, activity like that. We're also really interested in the research aspect of this. We think there can be lots of research uh, going on into teaching methodologies, how you teach uh, vocational training students and uh, university students together, uh, how you can have a blended approach to education post-school. That's gonna be really interesting. But we're also interested in how we can have a really practical uh, impact on businesses in the area through using both a higher educational approach and a vet pro approach. So we have uh, many of our researchers doing research into many areas, uh, but with the VET component, we will have a really hands-on practical approach. So something that we can produce in the laboratory, we can put to our uh, staff over on the uh, vocational training side of the university to see whether it can really work in practice out in the field. And I think that synergy between the, the true research and the practical uh, application of that research is going to be quite incredible in the university and we're already looking at uh, where we can make that happen. So look, we are excited about the next stage in our development as a university. As I said, I'm really pleased to have been able to talk to you today and I wish you very well for your conference.